Hey everybody, it's Chuck and I'm here to show you how to make a energy drink, uh, endurance drink for about a tenth of the cost that you might pay for some of those name brands out there. Different uh, ingredients that I use. Um, regular granulated sugar. You can get the cane sugar if you want something that's a little higher end. Um, but uh, I'm just kind of using standard stuff. You want some light salt. Um, I've got Morton light salt here. There's you know different brands of that. Um, I'm using sea salt, some Morton sea salt as well. But um, I've thought about using uh, Himalayan pink salt because you get a little uh, some of the micronutrients in there, um, trace elements, um, and then Kool-Aid for flavoring. You don't have to put in put that in there. It's uh, it's pretty much flavorless without that, but um, if you're doing some long-term endurance stuff, you know, having some kind of flavor in there is going to make it go down a little better. Um, you can kind of adjust that. The, uh, the amount that I'm making today is about 36 servings, and I put about three packs in there. Um, this is the recipe right here, and I'll, you'll see that at the end of the video. So the main ingredient besides, you know, your electrolytes and the flavoring is something called maltodextrin. So I've got this bucket here. Um, you can get maltodextrin in 50 pound sacks for about $60 on, on Amazon. Um, you can get some higher end maltodextrin for about three bucks a pound. Um, but uh, if you get it in bulk and you get something around 50 pounds, you're looking at about a little more than a dollar a pound. This recipe that we're going to do for the 36 servings is about what you would get for your standard size tub from a from one of the name brands and you know it's a, so like I said it's gonna be about two pounds of that 36 servings so we're, we're looking at something around two or three dollars um, something from heat or EFS those are gonna run you 30 to 40 dollars for a tub like this so these are just you know protein powder tubs that uh, that I've saved for this purpose and I'm making some up for my my buddy, uh, the cricket player, because um, he drinks this while he's playing cricket. So this is really, really good stuff for if you're an endurance athlete, if you're a family going on a long hike, which is what we use it for now. You know, we generally don't take in a lot of carbs, but it's good to have some and some, some good electrolytes and something tasty uh, for the kids to drink if you're out on a really, really long trek and you're getting a little bit dehydrated um, rather than just water. Uh, they're going to suck this stuff down. Um, so this is really multi-purpose. If I'm doing anything over two or three hours uh, on the road, adventure racing or, you know, running uh, over 10 miles, then I'll usually uh, put some of this into my water that I'm carrying. Okay, so now we're going to mix this stuff up. So I've already got the, uh, the sugar here and basically it's six tablespoons of sugar. Um, we're looking at a teaspoon of light salt a teaspoon out of here there we go a half a whole teaspoon okay and I'm doing a teaspoon of the regular sea salt up in there. Okay, te teaspoon of that. Um, the three packets of Kool-Aid I'm going to add in last. So now what I need is the maltodextrin. So I measure that by the pound. Um, also what you'll see when at the end of the video when I post all this, you'll see the calories, carbs, sodium, potassium, and sugar. And if you compare that to, to he, Hammer Heed or, or some of the other ones, you're going to see that uh, these numbers for the electrolytes and carbs are almost exactly the same. And I got this recipe uh, several years ago off the internet, so you can actually probably find it out there. Um, I think I've tweaked it a little bit. So I'm going with two pounds of this stuff here. By the way, if you do order the maltodextrin, it's a good idea to get some food grade buckets uh, because it generally just comes in a, uh, 
um, in, in, a, in a sack, so you want something that you could store it in long term because it's going to take you a while to use that up. Okay, so uh, so we got our maltodextrin in there. That's uh, that takes a little bit of effort because this stuff is uh, really light and powdery, so it's good to use a, a smaller scoop to get it in there. Um, so you probably want to use one of those Pyrex scoopers or something. That's what we use. So now I'm adding in the the sugar and electrolytes, and I'm going to add my three packs of Kool-Aid. Well, this is going to be good because this is giving us some extra vitamin C also. Alright, so let's see here. Dump that in there. Now, once you get all that in there, the key is just taking some time to really mix it around. You want it to be pretty uniform because this is uh, this is going to be keep you for for a little while depending on how much you use. And I'd probably mix that up for uh, two or three minutes and probably shake it around before you use it each time. Now the scoopers that come with the uh, most of the powders and stuff are about maybe a little bit more than a than a quarter cup. So for what I generally tell people is if you're kind of doing some light stuff you want to do a couple tablespoons. If you're doing more heavy stuff maybe a quarter cup per you know 20 to 30 or 40 ounces. Um, but you can kind of measure it out the way that you want. Now the key, the thing about this stuff is kind of freaks people out if they haven't used it. Is it doesn't have some of the anti-caking properties and kind of additives that some of the commercial variants have. So when you first put it in there, it kind of kind of clumps up, and it might take it. Uh, well, that separated pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for it to. Uh, for it to separate but there you go you know make a couple of those and put them in your bike or put them in your backpack or your camelback and you're uh, you're good to go and it's delicious <laughs>